cake. Mm -hmm. And uh, then it was like, Hey, you found me. Today I've got some Subway brought by one of our friends and suppliers. This is Dan Torrich from MidPro Fluid Power. This is Annette Smith. She's our purchasing manager. Hi guys. She's been buying a lot of parts for us to get out to the market and he's one of our suppliers. So today, instead of Pizza Wednesday, which usually we have Pizza Wednesday, he bought some Subway for everybody. You bought a lot of Subway, so thank you. He provides... Um, Bimba, CKD valves, and mead valves. Those Gauges, mm -hmm. tubing. The, the, the tubing that the manufacturer now says is 125 PSI rated. Mm -hmm. I remember that issue. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Andy. What? Why are you wearing safety glasses? Uh, I was out there. I was deburring rhino track drive plates. I was trying to be safe, so that was what I was doing. I see. Speaking of rhino track drive, it's a popular product, and we're going to have more available to be ordered on Monday the 25th. Also, we, uh, we've got some, a few calls regarding um, downloading CAD files for our, our website. What the CAD file is, it's a step file, it's a translation file that we create in SolidWorks. So Autodesk, Inventor, PCC, Creo, those will all work with a step file. If it's not opening up correctly, right click, save as, save the file to your computer, and then go into your 3D modeling program, open it up as a step file, and it should open up correctly. We also have layout prints on the website for, for most of the products. They're PDF prints that you can look at the layout. That's just a 2D print of the part. We're working on meeting some needs that some customers are pointing out, especially the, the pneumatic 8-inch tire upgrade kit for the kit <coughs> chassis. We're working on a PDF print for that. Hey guys, I'm uh, going to tell you a little bit about the layout view, the uh, assembly view for the pneumatic 8-inch uh, upgrade kit. Um, so we're going to release this uh, this drawing, and it's got an exploded view here that'll show you, uh, you know, what order to put all the spacers in um, for all the wheels, as well as uh, a nice diagram for you to look at, um, you know, how to make the the hex hub, uh, you know, onto the pneumatic wheel in the middle, as well as uh, the pneumatic wheels. Uh, on the ends too. Speaking of pneumatic tires, we do have more coming in, I believe Friday and then Monday. AM-3351, AM-3356 are the part numbers for the, the rib tire and the TT tread. Those have coefficients of friction listed on the website on how they perform on tight pile carpet and also polycarbonate. And don't give up on us, we have more diamond tread coming. We do. We have, a, and that's got a, a, some irons in the fire to getting more diamond tread pneumatic tires coming in in February. The website shows when those parts are coming in the, the best we can tell. So check out the web pages for those items. It's week two. People are working on their stronghold prototypes. They should be getting their drive base close to driving already. They should be figuring out how to score the boulder, how to get over the defenses. So. Keep checking out the websites that are out there from Robot in Three Days. Okay, so I gotta get back to deburring my uh, plates. And thanks to Dan and Annette for doing what they're doing. Hey guys. And we'll see you guys on Friday. Hey, hey, hey.